In ancient Persia, a warrior named Rostam lived. Renowned for his extraordinary strength, bravery and loyalty, he triumphed over countless challenges, striking fear into his enemies and gaining fame across the kingdom. In a distant kingdom, Prince Esfandiar, son of King Gushtasp, possessed unparalleled martial skills and an invincible aura. His impenetrable skin made him impervious to any weapon, destined to become a legendary warrior like his father. News of Esfandiar's invincibility reached Rostam's ears, and he became intrigued by the young prince. Rostam believed that it was his duty to test the true strength of this invincible warrior. He set out on a journey to find Esfandiar and engage him in combat. After a long and perilous journey, Rostam finally arrived in the kingdom ruled by King Gushtasp. When Rostam requested an audience with the king, he was initially met with suspicion and caution. However, Rostam's reputation preceded him, and the king granted him an audience. Rostam approached King Gushtasp and expressed his desire to test the might of Esfandiar. The king hesitated at first, for he knew that the invincible prince was his last hope for preserving peace in the kingdom. But Rostam's persistence and reputation convinced him otherwise. King Gushtasp informed Esfandiar about the situation, and despite his youthful confidence, Esfandiar agreed to confront Rostam. The king, deeply concerned for his son's well-being, pleaded with Rostam to spare Esfandiar's life, emphasizing his status as the heir and beloved child. On the battle day, a vast crowd gathered to witness the clash of two legendary warriors. Rostam and Esfandiar stood on the battlefield, eyes filled with determination and mutual respect. Rostam poised his sword, prepared to strike, while Esfandiar relied on his invincible aura for protection. The battle between Rostam and Esfandiar raged on for hours. Rostam unleashed his mightiest blows, his sword clashing against Esfandiar's impervious skin. But no matter how hard Rostam struck, Esfandiar remained unharmed. Unable to defeat Esfandiar conventionally, Rostam altered his approach, resorting to cunning and deceit. He convinced Esfandiar that true strength resided not in invincibility, but in the humility to accept defeat. Rostam argued that acknowledging one's limitations was a mark of a true warrior. Moved by Rostam's wisdom, Esfandiar reluctantly agreed to lower his defenses and allow Rostam to strike him. As Rostam swung his sword, it found its mark and struck Esfandiar, piercing his invincible skin. Esfandiar fell to the ground, mortally wounded. Regretful of his deeds, Rostam hurried to Esfandiar's side, expressing remorse for slaying the valiant warrior. Esfandiar forgave him, perceiving it as a trial of strength. With his dying breath, Esfandiar urged Rostam to defend justice and safeguard the innocent. Rostam, deeply moved by Esfandiar's words, honored the fallen prince's request. He dedicated the rest of his life to upholding the values of honor, courage, and justice, becoming a legendary hero in Persian folklore. The tale of Rostam and Esfandiar became a legend, a story of mighty warriors whose clash taught lessons of humility, friendship, and the pursuit of righteousness. Their names endured, etched in Persian history, cherished by future generations.